What is going on guys? Back in it again for another video, man. I'm a little hyped up right now, okay? Cause I just seen this one, man. Katrina Gray, you know, Miss Universe on the sway in the morning, man. She just going around. She's got so many different like interviews and she got she got she got a busy schedule, man. Busier than when she was on Miss Universe. Cause you know, she gotta be everywhere. Cause everyone wants a little piece of her. I don't, you know, everyone wants a little piece of her. Even your boy wants a little piece of her. But <laughs> Enough. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta check this one out. Cause when you guys told me to check this out, I'm like, okay, yo, why not, man? Why not? So I'm about to get into that video. But before we get into the video, make sure you guys give me a, get that thumbs up. You know what I mean? Give me that thumbs up, like thumbs up the video. I'm telling you, you're gonna like it. I'm gonna like it. We all gonna like it. And subscribe, you guys. You know, let me get into the video. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The new Miss Universe Steve Hall, is Philippines. Philippines. Got my McDonald's too, man. That when we don't need wow. this. The one and only Catriona Gray Catriona. from the Philippines. I like how he said it. Yes, congratulations. Yes. 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 All the best yes. dried mangoes ever. Yes. The best test, dried the sweetest mangoes. mangoes in the world. Absolutely. I should have brought some for you guys. You didn't bring yeah. any of the fi Filipino I know, mangoes I came with you? Like, where the mangoes at? Exactly. <laughs> That's just a good excuse. You didn't bring no um, balut? <laughs> oh shit! She's you like, really what? like balut? Yeah. Balut? For anyone listening that doesn't know, it's like a it's it's, it's What's an balut? egg or a duck. Oh no yeah. no that, um, no balut! Don't me like that. I'm Obviously not she a don't fan like of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, neither am I. I don't like balut, but I'm gonna try it, man. Cause you know what? Like I seen the video, I did a reaction video back then, like things about the Philippines I didn't know, like five wacky things, and balut was one of them. But one of you guys told me like definitely gotta try it, so I'm gonna try it. Oh, I know, I'm gonna try it still. <laughs> you like disgusted with me right now. <laughs> That's but it's supposed what I mean. to have like it's a submissible. Even uh, Miss Filipinas like it. About it, like if men eat it, it's supposed to like. That's what they told me. It's supposed to what? It's supposed, supposed to what? Yeah, I want to know. It's supposed to make what they... you know more, you know, vibrant, <laughs> vibrant, flowing. <laughs> libido. It increases your libido and everything. No. I, Does I, it? I, I, no, I don't things. believe that. You got some good salesmen wherever you went. That's, not That's <laughs> right. Because <laughs> if she doesn't like it. That's nope. fool's way. Wait, hold up. I, I ate, um, what else did I eat? Milkfish? Mm -hmm. Milkfish? What is that called? You... Um, like tilapia? Yeah, I did eat some tilapia. I don't eat tilapia anymore. Mm. I had uh, some blue crab Ooh, yum. Uh, on one of those islands where Manny Pacquiao used to own hotels on near Baracay. Oh, yeah, Baracay. Oh. It actually just closed down for a couple of months. They rehabilitated it, cleaned it up, and now they just reopened it. And it's beautiful. You should it's go beautiful? back. It's mm beautiful? -hmm. Okay, cool. Oh, really? I, okay, I always, Bal I Balakai? Is that how you say Balakai? Back then, I was wearing my locks down. <laughs> and uh, a lot of the uh, attendants at, uh, that worked at the shops in Barakai were mm -hmm. staring Barakai. at my hair and, and, and saying things in the language, Tagalog. Mm -hmm. uh, and oh, the man knows. These, he uh, knows his about shit. my hair and the language. And then these uh, dark, darker Filipinos, who I think they came out, came down from the uh, hills, mm -hmm. uh, came down and their hair was just like mine. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, and then, so I felt at home. <laughs> Maybe they were saying, Ganda ang buhok niya, which means your what? hair's so nice. Oh, I love you. I understand why you're Miss Universe. <laughs> oh, shit. That's how you going, huh? Ah. She's smooth, rather. You hit it. Oh, shit. She got game. Spot. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, uh, congratulations. She's so down to earth, man. Thank yes. You. Congratulations on the title. And, you know, it was interesting that, it, you know, I was telling you that I kind of stopped watching pageants for a while. Uh -huh. um, because I, I just felt like they were putting women on, you know, slabs of, you know, wooden slabs and having to walk across stages and exploiting their bodies. And uh, but this particular competition has done okay. something different now, right? Yeah, you know, Let's see. even me, I'm, I'm quite a conservative person, even when it comes to being on the beach, uh -huh. um, you know. But the thing about Miss Universe, it's not just that we're in our bikinis 24 7 yes we have a swimsuit competition, mm -hmm. but even our judging panel is created up of all women. And these okay. are women who are established. They have their own business. They're, yeah, they're philanthropists. That's so true. Mm -hmm. So seeing it through that. Lawyers, lens, doctors. Also, there you was know? really an effort made that people got to know us who we are. Like the first cut, we were able to do an opening statement where we're able to talk about whatever we want for 
a small amount of time mm -hmm. so the judges are already introduced to us and we're in cocktail dresses you know and and mm -hmm. then we have these video presentations where we talk about either our childhood or our upbringing or that's so true we love to do our causes so i really feel that in this year of miss universe or in miss universe in general that they really do put an emphasis on who the girl is mm -hmm. what she stands for that's so true you see what i mean it's not just about the beauty pageant anymore it's so much more so much more what, what the, who was it that got into the... Was it Miss USA? Who made the comments? Miss USA about the Vietnam oh, group? Uh, Mocking? Yeah, Miss, Miss USA. USA uh, made the comments. Uh, she since apologized mm -hmm. for what the she comments uh, she what made. she say? Saw how they could be considered insensitive. Uh, when she, I don't know exactly what the comments she talked about. Uh, the Vietnam, Miss Vietnam, not being having a communication command of, barriers. Command of the English like language. It must be oh. hard for her and, and people... Took that and said, "Man, is that xenophobia? Is that, you know, Whoa. she's racist and all of?" Oh. How did you take that? You know, I know Sarah Rose personally, and okay. she's actually my housemate. And if you would have known, like, if you would get to know her, you would know that she never meant anything malicious by it. Uh huh. Um, okay. And I know that she's definitely learned from this experience, and I think everyone can. But uh -huh. I think also, if you would see it in the lens that she was just admiring. The courage of those girls because imagine you're in the high pressure environment of a pageant mm -hmm. and the translators don't come in until the last week mm -hmm. so really I did not know that. On them or are they really are out of their comfort zone? And the fact that they are there and they're thriving in that environment, I think that's what Sarah was commenting on and mm -hmm. admiring. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then the media took it and made it into something else. That's, uh, media that's always makes it something real right big, now. man. They always do that. You know, you gotta, always got to get used to it, huh? Yeah. Uh, how does she take it? Um, I haven't really talked at length with her about okay. it. Okay. Um, because she just arrived last night late. Okay. And I've been knocking out super early because I'm jet lagged from the 13 hour difference of the Wouldn't Philippines they, to even, New York. You can't even tell. Do she look yeah. jet lagged? Oh, cute. Yeah, it's a, not at all. It was a birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it was man, a birthday I'm not ready for that yesterday. flight, man. Happy birthday, okay. January, baby. About 20, yeah, fl 20 hours from the flight. My birthday flighted. was on Jan 6. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. January, baby, right here. Yeah. My birthday's 28th. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, you, you, you take With a lot of pictures. With all That's why I probably like her so much, man. There you go. Yeah, I'll have to shoot some pictures someday. You know, I know he's busy. You know what I mean? But That's right. Let's do uh, it. You, you, are you single? He's single. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> that was a big-ass laugh. <laughs> Why are you, why are you laughing? <laughs> For your birthday. I can't see that. Yeah, it's a birthday. I love you, <laughs> baby. <laughs> She looked at me and laughed. cracking the hell up. Oh, you're having a rough year. <laughs> you, know <what> I'm <laughs> you know where, where else I've been to in the Philippines? Because mm. um, obviously that date is not going to happen. Um, <laughs> it's moving right along. Uh, it, 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 it's a place called, I want to say Kainta? C-A-I-N-T-A. Kainta. Yes. Kainta. So I was in Kainta. that neighborhood as mm -hmm. well. It's right outside of it's somewhere. Manila. Manila. Yeah. Rizal. Okay. So that's why yes, I'm saying Manila. Yes, and uh, it, it was um, culture shock for me. How come? Why? Uh, because I thought I knew what poor was. <laughs> you know, okay. not in a bad way, yeah. but I thought I knew what poverty, mm. you know, is. And um, I've seen it, but I've never been immersed in the way that I was in that particular community. Okay. You know, uh, but regardless of the lack of resources and, the you know, the fact that it was a you know, people were, you know, trying to get power, you know, just to light up their, their areas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The one thing I really admired, there's a couple of things I really admired. As, it's, it's like the kids didn't know. Mm -hmm. The kids, That's just they're they, they living in a fantasy. They called me T.O. Sway. Yeah. T.O. You know, Sway. They came to me and they uh, gave me, put my hand on their head. Or, or Yeah, or, it's a sign of respect. Yeah, oh, because, wow. Okay. Yeah, they put, so yeah, I should elders, trip out when people do that to me. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the old wise guy. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> okay, okay. I, I'm not sure about when people start doing that to me. Tio is like uncle, though, right? Yeah. Tio is yeah. uncle. Okay. Uh, Tito. Tito. How you say Tito. it? Tito. Tito. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tito Sway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tito Sway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's how they respect their elders. Um, <laughs> and the food was amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the cuisine was amazing. Mm -hmm. I don't oh. care what you don't have. What you will have is a great meal in the Filipinos Philippines. Filipinos love to eat. 
you can't I'm kind of excited now party, about the food, man. I want to try out the food. Meet up without food, no one will come. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> wow. No, I'm serious. Mm-hmm. And there's a tradition every Christmas. So practically, we open up all of our houses, and everyone just has food, and people just drift around to different houses. Really? And just eat. Wow. Man, maybe I should it's come around Christmas time instead. It's a really beautiful aspect of our culture where <laughs> everyone's practically welcome into the family. That is so true. I've been saying that for so long. Philippines. Like all well, my videos, Philippines I've been saying that. A volunteer run organization. I always make everyone feel like family. As a volunteer and a spokesperson, and they give free treatment, free counseling, support, and free medication in regards to AIDS and HIV. Wow. So actually, in the Philippines, we do have a problem still uh-huh. with HIV and AIDS in, in the realm of... Um, one, it's not really that accessible outside the city to get testing, to have access to the, the educational materials and to be aware. Mm-hmm. And also there's a huge amount of stigma that still exists when the, when really? the Philippines surrounding <clears throat> HIV. Yeah, no one wants to know that you're yeah. like, so oh, I got HIV. Oh, I don't want to get tested, tested for it. Really you might want to just get tested. You never know. You never know. I want people to start to view getting tested as like you're going to get your heart checked up. Or, That's it. You know, it's Thank you. It's a medical checkup that should just be done to look after yourself. Mm -hmm. But the reality is that the majority of new HIV cases in the Philippines affect people from 15 to 24 years old. Wow. 15 to 24? Yes. So imagine it's there that Wow. Mm -hmm. And they're having their life defined by that fear and that stigma. And I think that's heartbreaking. Yeah. Because they're not even that age to go out and live their life yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Wow. So yeah, that's really what I advocate for. 15 to 24 years old, man. To open up the dialogue and to make testing and treatment more readily available and affordable miss universe y'all awesome. catriona gray is here <laughs> yes uh, if you never talk to a miss universe in your life this is your chance 888-742-3345 mm-hmm. we also gonna put her to the test see where her talents really lie sway <laughs> in the morning shade four five sway i love you guys <laughs> i feel like that should have been added in the end right <laughs> if that, that's all it's a beautiful song this man's funny. In the end, I could have just said that. You know, you just get one of those. You just, you just have to. Just, just have, have to. Come on. Catriona's yeah. influenced by Michael. Everybody yeah. in the Philippines loves That's Michael right. Jackson. Because it reminds me of like the Heal the World. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah. You. Like, how much karaoke have you done in your life where you sang Michael Jackson? Oh. <laughs> well, we're a karaoke nation. You know, really? You're the leading karaoke See, I just learned something new. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. I know who created. I know you guys like singing. Was trademarked by a Japanese. Is that, is that real? Is that true? I think so. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Don't quote me on <laughs> it, but I read it once. What well, <laughs> about karaoke? Is it kind of like you can somewhat live vicarious, like be a star in that one moment of the song? Honestly, I feel like Filipinos are just, we love to belt out a two. And like, and, and, and I heard someone, you know, tell me an interesting thing. They think that because when we're babies, the mothers are have a tendency to tap and sway and hum. And so they were like, that's why Filipinos have an ingrained sense of music. Because mm. as a kid, Tap Filipinos up. can dance mm. their asses off too. Great break dancers. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, well, no, hold up. Not break yeah, dancers. I know a lot of dancers are Filipinos. Oh. Great dancers. Yeah? Well, that's the correct way to say it. It's, it's no such oh. thing as a break dancer. It's just oh. breakers. Okay. Dancers who break. That's just some hip hop. You told me you know hip hop. I'm being educated now. Uh, okay, there it is. Miss <laughs> Universe. You, see, you mentioned uh, singing. We were talking about karaoke and everything. The lead singer who joined the band Journey yes, was, was found on YouTube mm-hmm. by the band members, and he was just like putting up videos on his own. Yep. And then so they found him and they called him up, and he thought it was a joke. Mm-hmm. Now he sings for one of like the biggest bands in the world. Right, right. Oh, yeah. wow. Amazing story. You never know, story. man. Post uh, your stuff on YouTube. Fiona, you never uh, know. What do you hope to do with this title? What is your plan? I mean, I just want to do as much as I can Mm -hmm. with causes. And I don't necessarily want to restrict myself to just Young Focus Philippines, which my single is in collaboration with to create awareness for. But also, you know, branch out to different countries, too, because I'm not just a Miss Philippines anymore. Being a Miss Universe, Universe. that's right. Man, this chick is smart. Hopefully do a positive impact, whether it be through the platform that I have or through social media or through, you know, good work that I could do on ground. Mm -hmm. So I want my year to be characterized by that. Of course, there's there's the fun of it, there's the travel of it, there's the events and the glamour, but at the end of the day, 
um, having been a volunteer in charities for three years now, that's just something that's fulfilling to me mm-hmm. as a human being. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like that. We need to get her with Putin and, and Trump <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> head of China and all those different people. What would you say to them if you got to get together with all the world leaders of China, oh. Russia, and America? Yeah. What, what would you saying? ask of them if you could ask them? To- I would want to walk them through, like, the um, underserved areas. I would think people need to see it with their own two eyes, That's just like what you said. Mm-hmm. Um, they need to see it. It wasn't until you experienced it personally mm-hmm. and were there. Mm-hmm. It impacts you, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, in such a way that you're never the same again. Absolutely. I haven't been the same since I left the Philippines. Mm-hmm. You know, really? Um, and I went to Barakai, and I went fishing okay. in the waters. And it was some beautiful waters. You could see the Florida Ocean mm-hmm. uh, from wherever we were. It's a beautiful place. And the, 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 the dichotomy of how beautiful it is and in the poverty at the same time, mm-hmm. the haves and the have-nots is crazy out there. Yep. Same as it is out here. Mm-hmm. But I think you're a beacon of light, Miss Universe. Thank you. Oh, well said, man. A couple things you want to do before you go. That song was so beautiful. Thank you. And I know you have, uh, you studied, you have a master's certificate in music theory from Berkeley College of uh, Music Right? Yep. So you have a beautiful voice, obviously. We <laughs> thought we'll remix your single right here live on oh, the air. Oh, shit. So cool. I'm excited. You got to sing it, though. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that how it works? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's sing- so good, right? Yeah. <laughs> what do you need me to do? <laughs> sing the lyrics. Okay. Okay. Is this the chorus or the verse? Verse. Verse. Okay. The kids back in the street. Yo. And the mother's got a baby. Hey. With no food to eat. And I'm sad and driving by. Yeah. To see. But if a change is going to come, then it's got to stop in me. What? I never want to eat again. As long as you ain't got a home. You can use my own. Yes. I, I like this. I like this, man. She's like, um, okay. Can we stop now? <laughs> oh, bring oh. a second verse. We're gonna have a breakdown. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. That was lit. That was lit, man. That was lit. You forgot to add that part. I love you. I, I, was, I, I, I was waiting for you. I love you. Okay. There you go. Miss Universe is taking it out. I was pretty good. You like that? Yeah, you, that was fun. I noticed when you caught it, you was like, okay, I see what we're doing. Great. Okay. You start rocking to it. All you needed some background dancers. We had you. All right, now another thing background we like to do is our real? first time guest, Tracy G. Yes, we do something called the mystery set. Go ahead and reach in. Dig deep, dig deep. <laughs> Put your hands into Sway's sack. That sounds gross. <laughs> that sounds so it's wrong. Sway's mystery sack. Why you on Shade 45. You look frightened. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. How you know if you stick man. your hand Sway's in my, my sack, sack, it won't be a pleasurable experience. Oh, <laughs> Jeez. Come on, Miss Universe. What did I get myself into, you, guys? How do I correctly pronounce your name? Catriona. Catriona. All right. Catriona. Put your hand in the sack. Pull out it's very one sparkly. question. Yeah, yeah. sparkly. One at a time. Sparkly sack. You have Catriona. to read it out loud, and you have to answer honestly. If you had to start your life over in a completely new country, which would it be and why? I would choose Japan. Japan. Honestly, I love the food, and I think their culture is so interesting, Mm -hmm. and I love their scenery, too. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Just as simple as that. And they were smart enough to copyright the word karaoke. (laughs) There you go. And you know they have good karaoke bars there, too. they got the banging ones. Whole experience. (laughs) What's your favorite food from a country other than your own? Okay. I just tried Cuban food the other day. Oh. It was my first time, and it's actually quite similar to Filipino food. Is it really? And it was really like comfort food, heavy, but super tasty. So I would really? choose that. Why, it's a lot of. Why is that, though? The Spanish. Came we were over. colonized by you were Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, really? I think it was 300 years. 
Damn. Yeah. yeah. Not alone. So Lots. it's really it's it really heavily influenced our culture. Okay. So, Them yeah. Spanish got around, man. Oh, they, <laughs> they conquered. We call yeah. colonized. Well, they conquered, conquered a lot of territory over the right. over the centuries. Last one. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Go how it is, man. How. What are three to five travel essentials everyone should pack? Um, um, well, I guess coming to New York, a good coat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, cold? Yeah. Uh, your phone with an internet connection for Google Maps so you can That's get right. it. Okay. That's right. That's um, right. It's a, a must. A pair of walking shoes. Okay. Because that's, cool. that's important. That's cool. What about toothbrush? Wallet? I'm allowed five, right? Okay. okay. Wallet with some money, not an empty wallet. Okay. <laughs> get your bank up, kid. <laughs> Hmm. Do you see what I mean? It's just so that her face is toothpaste. Okay, there you go. There you go. Toothpaste. Fun. And I said toothpaste. That's funny. She said toothpaste. Yeah, I said toothpaste. Yeah, well, depending on where you're from, you use your finger. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. That's... <laughs> That, 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 that is right I've there. Done that. So I've done it. Have you done that? Absolutely. Absolutely. When I was in the that's Philippines. Right, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, hold on. So if you want to talk with Miss Universe, 888-742-3345. Terry Stockton is on the, hey, Terry is on the line. What up, Terry? Hey, Terry. Hey, how you doing, real quick? How you doing, Miss Universe? Hi, Terry. How are you? Okay. I'm good. What's your comment? Hey. Oh, my comment is um, I never heard her before, and my wife has a lot of Filipino friends who do karaoke, and she does the Zuma thing, and I've heard a lot of them before, and by far, she has the most beautiful voice I've, I've heard in a long time, just wow. so natural, beautiful, and then I heard the remix right now, which I had to call yeah. back and be like, this girl, she needs to be on every Disney cartoon, Fantasia, oh, Mermaid, she can sing anybody's lyrics. She's badass, bro. In oh. real way, thank you for putting her on because now I know who she is. Wow. Thank thank you. Wow. That's so that's sweet awesome. of you. I thank like that. You. That was well Tell said, you man. You're a citizen, man. Sway in the morning. So is your wife. I like that. Uh, what are you doing? You're making a your hit? They picked the right one right here, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, Give a round of applause. They picked the right Kiana one. Gray. Your family must be thrilled about this. They are over the moon. And, you know, it's so funny. Nothing connects you to long lost forgotten family members yeah. like joining a pageant. <laughs> <laughs> they come out the woodwork. They come out yeah, everywhere. Like, I'm your, your uncle's um, cousin's sibling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Everybody becomes related, man. Mm -hmm. Imagine how Manny must feel, right? Everybody knows Manny. You ever meet Manny? I haven't met him yet, but oh. I believe I'm getting the chance to watch one of his fights this okay. year, okay. which is really exciting. The recent Adrian Broner. He's fighting Broner, I think, in a couple of weeks, matter of fact. Wow. Yeah. That, yeah. Adrian Broner's a pretty bad dude on, in the ring. It's going to be a really interesting fight. Absolutely. I, he's yeah, been up yeah. here before, too. Manny Pacquiao. Really? Yeah. yeah. Manny yeah. Pacquiao. And Adrian Broner. Manny threw a Five a five punch combination that went by so fast. The noise when he hit the pass, <laughs> the noise came a few seconds after he made contact with the pass. Oh, January nineteenth. Oh, January. That's when the fight is. All right, man. I'm glad we got the mat. Me. Me Congratulations. Too. Got, got the mat. Thank you so much for having me. I just got nervous. I'm looking at her like, yo, she really is beautiful right here. Yeah, oh, thank you. yeah I got stunned right there. <laughs> I'm not even going to look at you no more. <laughs> All right. Uh, Catriona Gray, my Miss Universe. Congratulations. Thank you. Go off and be great. Man. You sound amazing. Get a new single. Wearing this together. Um, and uh, that concludes our show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tomorrow's show, who we got, DB? Oh, man. It's a humdinger. Oh, we got Iyanla Von Sant is yes. coming by. Fixing lives. <laughs> All right. Gretchen yeah. Carlson. Gretchen Carlson will be, be here tomorrow as well. And Jabuki Young White, the youngest correspondent on The Daily Show. Nice. I'm excited for tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow should be cool. Okay. Uh, DB, how can they reach you? Everywhere at It's Really DB. Check the I'm just flooded too. Uh, OQ <laughs> shoots on, on Instagram. Check me out. Okay. Cool. At DJ Wonder Everywhere. And if I had one uh, one wish for OQ's birthday, it, it, would you just follow me on Instagram? <laughs> at DJ Wonder? <laughs> <laughs> I love how you just like point it up. Uh, <laughs> I'll pass the happy that in. hour. Slip in their DMs. Be on Instagram and on Twitter. The happy hour.
Twitter, Instagram for me, citizens, at it's Tracy G I T S T R A C Y. If people want to follow you, how should they follow you? They can find me in all the Miss Universe social media. So that's at Miss Universe on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. And if they want to follow me personally, it's at Catriona underscore Gray. Catriona okay. underscore Gray. Okay, one to one to follow her and then shoot her a link to the remix. And that her. way she'll follow she'll you. follow her a while ago. Oh, you could do the same. All right, I'm at Real Sway across the board. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> And uh, also, we got our Kevin Hart interview is going up today. It's already up on SwayUniverse.com. Mm-hmm. On the Lindsay Lohan interview is up as well. Uh, go make sure you go check that out. Allison Williams interview is up as well. Yeah. And um, all the other ones will be up today as well. So make sure you check yeah, that yeah. out Until tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. We have nothing left to say. Ooh, man. Man, you guys seen that, man. Miss Universe on the Sway Morning Show, man. Yo, there's nothing this girl can do, man. This girl looks fabulous. You guys seen that, man. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this because I enjoyed watching this. Comment down below what your best part about this because I think all of you guys are definitely going to say the singing part and the part when I think... What was the other part? Definitely when the guy called in and she was like shocked, man. The guy, the, the caller called in saying like, you got an amazing voice. She was like, whoa. What? Definitely. But comment down below what your favorite part is. But anyways, you guys made the end of the video. You know what? You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Thumbs up the video, like just thumbs up the video, man. Post notification bells turned on. Comments all down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, alright? Peace.